just need to sorry mesh is that you there you're welcome to join because it's just myself and then tax is on his way sorry i'm just quickly sort of organizing the sighting no you're welcome to you're welcome to stay there's only myself and tax are still coming so that's perfect there is actually from where your vehicle is there was a herd of wildebeest maybe 100 meters to your west so maybe they pick up on them Okay, cool, just quickly organizing all of that. Sorry, everybody. Obviously, lions. Woo! Yes! How awesome. That's so cool. Ah, oh, I can take a deep breath now. Oh, hang on, I see, I see. I'm just gonna turn my lights off and drive in. I don't know, I'm gonna use my spotlight. We're gonna, obviously we're in infrared at the moment. I don't know where all the cats are. Obviously it's a big pride, so I'm just gonna keep, there's one. I thought I saw a reflection of eyes going in here oh it's so thick it's so 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 thick maybe they're gonna jump out onto onto Gallagher Road so making sure yeah they, they were all in there so let's go on to the other side sorry I'm just concentrating because I also don't want to drive over a line but I don't want to drive with my lights on now just in case there is something like a herd of impala somewhere um, or something along those lines they don't always walk in single file. They kind of just do what they want whenever they want. Okay, here they are. Oh, fantastic. We're gonna get such a nice view of them now. Mm. Let me just try to sneak again. I think there's a gap here, Vian. There they all are. Sorry, Mish, I'm just live at the moment. There we go. Oh, that's awesome. There, they, there they're standing. I wonder if they did the same thing they did the other afternoon where as soon as the wind picked up they also started moving. Now we were talking about yesterday there's no need for them to walk on the roads or even on the animal pathways because it is so dry at the moment. It definitely gives them a lot more freedom. Let me just... Mish can you take over this lock for me? I'm just live at the moment. Okay, there we go. Just passing that sighting on very quickly so we can just focus. Otherwise, I'll end up just talking on the game drive radio for the entire drive. And that's the last thing I want to do when we've got these cats. So they're moving into some exceptionally thick vegetation. There you go. You can see, just see a spotlight coming on every now and then. They're about to cross uh, Gallagher Road and they're still kind of going... There they are. They're still going west-ish, if you will. But there are lots of animals that are lurking around the block. So if we don't, I mean, um, it's very difficult to off-road in this, this area that they're going into. You've seen us driving in there a couple of times. The next road after Gallagher Road is uh, Aubrey's and it's, it's unbelievably dense. Um, you know, virtually impenetrable during the day at night. It's not going to be much fun at all. But we'll try and sort of keep up with them and see. Okay, now we're just doing, everyone's doing a bit of repositioning and stuff like that. So they let this car just in front of us just kind of move out. I think they might be going back up this way. You can imagine there's a lot of commotion now. They're going forward. Okay, we'll go forward too. No, it's okay. I'm just gonna. Only if you ask questions, otherwise I'm leaving the lines. Let's get some last minute lying questions. Hashtag Safari Live. Otherwise I'm going to go and find Impala. <laughs> Maybe this is your first time seeing this pride of lions. Who knows? Perhaps that is the case. Well, I obviously can't tell you if you're all asking, where's the other male? Where's the male? I can't tell you. There's what the younger boy. But I haven't seen is that the young male? Looks like it. Hey, yeah, it does. Um, I so I don't know because if, have you seen all eleven or all twelve lions yet? Oh wait, maybe. Who's this one? Is this his friend? Perhaps it's his friend. Maybe this is your question answered. Your question has been answered. It's your lucky day. There's the other male lion. 
So I, now I, the other question that I bet you're all going to start answering is, where's Amber Eyes? Still don't know where Amber Eyes is either because I haven't seen the entire pride just yet. But hopefully there will be some more coming through. So that's nice. So they seem to be spending quite a bit of time with one another. I mean, they might, with this other male being slightly older, perhaps, you know, it might be, he might move out sooner, this young male. He might decide, okay, cool, we can just go off on our own right now. They are hanging towards the back of the pride, you know, not quite up in front and in the middle. But that doesn't really mean sort of too much. How's that other lioness lying at the back there? So camouflaged. Super, super camouflaged. I like the shadow that it's casting too. It's like the equivalent of the Batman signal, but the lion version. And not in the sky, cast it down on the ground. Mm. All day, every day, I don't know if the pride would, that would be their first defense to start roaring. You might find that the young cubs would be sort of hidden and the females would most certainly go out and try their best to stop if it was another pride of lions they'd try and stop the girls if it's another group of we won't be seeing the lions i don't know maybe tax will move right off the road but i doubt it anyways um so that wouldn't be their first defense they might or afterwards after a bit of a squabble happens to announce to everyone like this has happened like don't come near us we've just chased a whole lot of lions away When you've got young cubs, you probably wouldn't want to advertise to anyone that you do have lots of little ones around. Because I think you then are a threat to young upstarts moving in into an area. Oh, what a lovely afternoon safari it has turned out to be. Man, all the drama with Hukamuri and uh, Hosanna, two sleepy cheetahs that were hungry. So maybe they'll catch something a little bit later or early tomorrow morning. And then Gahumas are hungry. So that's good news. We'll definitely be following up on them on foot tomorrow morning and hopefully we'll find them. So join us for the Sunrise Safari where it'll all start again.